how is it going guys? Welcome back to Katara Shoujo. And quite honestly, I have a couple of things I'd like to talk about before we start this. And basically, for the past three or four weeks, I've been doing daily uploads. And it's been, well, I think it's been about two or three weeks. I'm not too sure because it's, it's all just been a bit of a blur to me. But it's only just hit me how hard it actually is to keep this up alongside trying to keep my family happy alongside trying to keep my job alongside trying to do all my housework and honestly it's really really tough but it's also made me appreciate so much more all of the little comments and and likes and stuff that I get on these videos it's really making me appreciate all of that so before I get into this video before we start I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you because without you this wouldn't be possible never did I think I would be working a nine-hour job at like nine hours a day and then coming home and recording a video getting it uploaded in the same day and being okay with it because it's really hard I, f I am so tired every time I come home I literally need to take an hour just to rest because I'm doing heavy lifting all day I need to take an hour just to rest and then after that my day is just make a video edit a video upload a video and honestly I wouldn't change that right now because I'm just so appreciative to have people that care about me so much as in my family, as in my friends, as in my subscribers, and my my friends on the internet, and I just feel so appreciative of everyone right now, and it's it's probably the wrong medium to be having this rant, but I feel like I really need to. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> I'm very ill still, and it, that's also ma what's making it a lot harder. Because I'm really struggling with this illness. Like, I don't know why. It's just really doesn't want to be kicked. It really doesn't want to go. But I have plans for this channel. And until I'm in a position where I can actually feel physically well enough to get those plans off the ground. Until I'm in a position where I have enough time, e.g. the weekends, and I'm feeling better in myself, then it's just gonna have to be these uploads and then TBU on a Thursday and Friday which in itself is a monster to do because it takes oh just anyway that's enough of that but thank you all so let's get into this oh god that's loud Jesus Christ <laughs> oh god all right so we left off we just been to the track me I think so I'll admit that I zone out for a while I almost don't notice that the relays are about to begin, but when I look, I can't find Emmy. I thought that Emmy would be running the relay. She runs Anchor, so she won't be running for a while yet. I know what Anchor is! Anchor's when, um, you're the last person in the relay. So that you're the, the one that everyone depends on. They can run their own race, and then at the end they know that you're there ready for them, so... I used to run Anchor myself when I did stuff. <laughs> I used to run in school a little bit like I did a couple of uh, races for for the school and I used to run anchor because I had like I'm really fast I've only ever lost a race to one person uh, and that person is funny enough totally should be awesome but yeah anchor is honestly the most difficult position of a relay so yeah that, that's always fun did you see it huh Emmy at her Emmyist. Look at that smile. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe this time. The race begins and I cheer Emmy's teammates along as they pass the baton. Finally, I see Emmy sprinting out onto the track to take her final handoff. Once again, I'm taken aback by how graceful she looks when she runs. It really is beautiful. The look of determination and fearlessness on her face only adds to the picture. Emmy at her Emmyist, I suppose. But then as she crosses the finish line, I see her stumble slightly. It's only barely, but it's a definite stumble. Rin inhales sharply and actually looks concerned for a second. Aww, Emmy. Did she hurt herself, do you think? You noticed it too? It must be bad. She frowns, as if deciding on the next course of action. Eventually, that proves to be too tiresome, and she shrugs again. 
Well, let's go down. Gotta crown the victor. See if you can find the laurel branch. That's not gonna be easy. Rin shrugs. At least we tried. Well, we didn't really try all that hard. Or at all, but hey, whatever. Emmy is surrounded by her teammates, all of them congratulating her on the run. Rin seems to be waiting for Emmy to notice that she's arrived. Oh yeah, I guess you can't exactly wave Emmy over. Hey, Get screwed! Nice! That's a horrible, horrible thing to say, and I'm very, very sorry for laughing at that, but hey-ho! Then again, I'm not sure that Rin would do such a thing even if she had arms. It doesn't seem her style to draw attention to herself, or to emote beyond shrugging. Either way, I'm not willing to wait, so I wave to Emmy, who looks up and grins happily at me. Uh, us. Hey, you showed up! Guess Rin owes me money, huh? We she would have brought you a crown of laurels, but his out didn't find one. Hey, neither did you! It wasn't my job to look. When did we assign jobs? When I said see if you can find the laurel branch. Try to keep up. I shrug. Guess Rin's rubbing off on me. Seems it's my fault after all, Emmy. Emmy laughs at Rin and me. It's okay, I'm sure you'll make it up to me somehow. Uh, sure. Good, so how'd I look? I stop myself from blurting out beautiful or amazing and settle for the substantially safer, very impressive. Emmy seems pleased with this assessment. I don't mention how much more impressive her performance is given her lack of legs. I think she knows that already. Besides, it seems like she would have to take away, uh, it would take away from her efforts somehow. Great to hear. I was worried that I looked a little slow on the relay, but I guess I did fine, huh? Actually, I noticed Rin kicks me and keeps me from finishing my sentence. What was that all about? He noticed it at the end. Hmm, that's no good. I guess the nurse will look at it later for me. There's a carelessness in her voice, as if it isn't a big deal, but I suddenly notice a slight twitch on her face, like she's trying to hide the fact that she's in pain. Ah, oh, she must have really missed, because uh, they were talking before about how... Uh, running on those things can really wear down the, the ends of your legs, and it's it's a really big battle, but... I mean... Uh, this is annoying, because I, I I used to be a big fan of Oscar Pistorius before I found out about what happened with him and Reva Steenkamp, but... Basically, I, I read into it, and it, it's like, it's so... To see someone pushing themselves this this far, past the point of physical pain, is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, imagine if you were working... Let's imagine that you're doing heavy lifting every day. For a dodgy example. And your hands start to hurt. Do you carry on doing it? No, you don't carry on heavy lifting. You stop because you're worried about breaking your hands or your fingers or something. She's not doing that. She's running because she enjoys running. And even though her body and the mechanisms she's using to run are telling her no, she's just running anyway. Because she loves it and she wants to prove a point and that's the attitude that a lot of people have nowadays And it's not necessarily a bad Attitude because it means people push themselves a lot But it is a bad attitude in the fact that it can push people past their limits and cause them physical harm physical pain physical scarring and all of that jazz so You should probably be very careful and by the way when I said all that jazz I kind of wanted to go into my outro for some reason, but hey ho It's then that I notice her breathing is a little shallow too. I guess she really is hurt she must notice my concern because she skips up to me and gives me a friendly pat on the shoulder. Hey, you look a little worried. I'm fine, really. Just sore from all the running is all. And come on, a little pain isn't going to stop me. Oh no? Hemi grins, and for a moment she looks like she did during her sprint. Fierce and unconquerable. Or, to put it another way, really beautiful. Hasn't yet. Well then, I guess I shouldn't worry, huh? Damn right, I'm Emmy Ibumazaki. Fastest thing on no legs. I don't stop for anything. Impressive. Emmy giggles and then seems to remember something. Oh, before I forget, Rin and I are going to do something next Sunday as a post track meet celebration. You should come along. Normally, we do it the day after, but since the track meet was on a Sunday, I've got homework and class and all that stuff to take care of. Plus our morning run, of course. Right, of course. Oh right, your mom wanted to say she's proud of you. She'll call you later tonight. I thought I saw her in the stands. I'm glad she made it. I used to be my dad who showed up to the meets, but Mom's done a pretty good job of us taking over. She shivers slightly, and I realize that she's still all sweaty. A breeze has started to blow too. I'm not cold at all, and I've got my jacket with me, so without a word, I throw it around her shoulders. Emmy jumps slightly and then grins at me. <laughs> hey, thanks. It's getting a little cold, I guess. Yeah, looks like it. Just as I begin to wonder whether or not Emmy uh, giving Emmy my jacket could be taken the wrong way, a boy in a track uniform approaches. 
Hey, Emmy, you're going to miss the medal ceremony. Oh, yeah. What the hell was that voice? What was that? Oh, yeah, thanks. She turns to Rin and myself. You don't have to stick around for this part. It takes forever. Besides, you should get cracking on your homework now if you don't want to be late, Hazal. Morning run tomorrow. Don't forget. How could I? Good point. I mean, it's spending time with me, after all. Well, then. Damn, son. The flirtation is too much. With this, she waves quickly and dashes off to receive her medals, or whatever they pass off as medal these days. Rin and I have headed away from the track, Rin remaining deep in whatever thought she has for most of the walk back to her dorm. As I see her off, she speaks up. You're probably not getting that coat back, I think. I'm sure I'll get it back eventually. Interesting. Take it as it comes, huh? Very Emmy-ish. With this odd statement, she turns and heads into the building. Honestly, was it that big a deal? Emmy was cold and, unless I'm mistaken, in pain. Giving her a solution to at least one of those problems seems like an obvious reaction. Though I guess there is a chance I could lose my jacket if ne Emmy never remembers to return it. I guess Rin has a point. Still, I can't bring myself to muster too much worry over the whole thing. After all, it's been getting warmer lately. I don't need a jacket. Odd. I think I used to be a little more responsible with my stuff. Emmy-ish, huh? Maybe that's not really a bad thing. I really want to do more voice acting in the future. I just love it. I really enjoy it. It's like reading, but better. Because it's like performing and reading in one. It's it's just so fulfilling. You haven't been forgetting to take your medicine, have you? I'm catching a little murmur. You should probably take it easy for a few days. The nurse's words hurt me far more than the exhaustion of the morning run ever could. Take it easy for a few days? I knew I should have kept quiet. I keep my eyes on the floor, feeling like a complete idiot. Of course, I hadn't been remembering to take my medicine. I've been rushing out of my room to get to the track meet for Emmy. After the track meet a few days ago, I felt inspired. So I've been running warm-up laps in the morning before Emmy shows up. But then today, while she and I were running, I felt a little pain in my chest. It was only slight, and it was only for a second, so I mentioned it to the nurse. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I kept running and finished just fine, so it really couldn't have been that bad. Why do I feel like I'm making excuses to the nurse? Moreover, why do I feel I need to justify continuing to run despite the pain? Really, it comes down to my being unwilling to concern Emmy, who seemed concerned anyway. I'm not sure how she was able to tell there was anything wrong, but she claims I stumbled a little. She's the one who insists that I tell the nurse, so now I feel bad for worrying her at all. The nurse is shaking his head ruefully while Emmy uh, pieces outside the room. Is out. I know it's difficult for you to get into a new routine, but if you don't want to find yourself in a lot of trouble, you're going to have to try harder. You can't afford to take your pills, and you can't push yourself too hard. But if I don't push myself, how will I improve? I don't know where that came from. The nurse seems to have an idea. Now, where have I heard that before? He laughs and pats me on the shoulder. Heh, <laughs> she's rubbing off on you, I guess. His expression changes again, and he's back in serious mode. Look, I'm not saying you shouldn't push yourself, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't be taking your medication, and it doesn't mean you shouldn't stop if your chest starts to bother you. I'd prefer not to have any fatalities while I'm on staff here. A bit of a lofty goal, to be sure, but I'm always up for a challenge. I hate to admit it, but I think he's right. I've got to remember to take my medication. You're right. I'm sorry to worry you. Who's worried? You're a smart kid, right? I know you can be responsible, his Al. A situation like yours, you've got to learn to be responsible fast. I know, I know. His expression suddenly becomes devious. I suppose you've started to enjoy your runs with Emmy then. God damn, he's on to us. He knows, he knows, he knows, he knows. Yeah, they've really been helping me. I mean, until today, I was feeling a lot more healthy. I really need to cough, god damn it. Oof. Plus, it's really impressive to see Emmy run. Did you see her at the track meet? She was incredible. The nurse nods, grinning all the while. There she was, his owl. I watched her first couple of races before I had some business to take care of. She told me all about it. Kind of you to loan her your jacket, by the way. Ah, damn! Huh? Oh yeah, it wasn't that big of a deal. I honestly have forgotten all about that. I still haven't gotten it back. The nurse gets a smile that makes me feel like he's just made a joke. Not to you, but Emmy certainly appreciated it. And I know she appreciates your running with her in the mornings. This one catches me off guard a little. Sure, she mentioned that it's easier to keep a schedule with an extra person, but I didn't think that I was doing her a favor at all. I thought she was doing me the favor of helping me follow the doctor's orders. She tries harder when you're around. 
If there's someone else running with her, she's going to push herself more. And she tries even harder when you're around because, well, it's you. What the heck does that mean? Oh, oh you'd love to know, wouldn't you? He laughs in the style of evil megalomaniacs. No, seriously. It's because you're her friend. If Rin ran with her, I'm sure she'd do the same. Well, well, probably. But that's not the point. The point is you're helping her, even if you don't know you are. And she's grateful for that, even if she never says it. What do you mean, even if she never says it? Amy doesn't talk a lot, but she and I have known each other long enough that I can read her most of the time. I'll admit it, but I have no idea what he's talking about. Amy always seemed pretty talkative to me. Uh, I see. The nurse suddenly realizes that he's been rambling and stops talking, looking a little embarrassed. Anyway, you don't have to stop your morning exercise. Just walk the track instead of running for a few days. Let things calm down. And take your damn medicine! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and take your damn medicine, boy! Ah, uh, 15 minutes, okay. I just needed to keep a track of the time. I laugh as I exit the office, bumping straight into Emmy. Um, whoops, sorry about that. Are you okay? What did the nurse say? Do you need to go to a hospital? Oh my gosh, it was my fault, wasn't it? I've been pushing you too- I knew that was coming. <laughs> I've been pushing you too hard, haven't I? I'm a horrible person. The words pour forth like a torrent. She's really agitated. I didn't expect her to be this concerned about me, to be honest. Gotta calm her down, but how the hell do I do that? I do the only thing I can think of. I give her a hug. Amy tenses up slightly, so I pat her head in what I hope is a reassuring manner. Hey, settle down. I'm fine, okay? No worries. I can feel Emmy's body relax as I continue to assure her I'm fine. Her arms wrap around me as if she's trying to confirm that I'm not about to fall over dead. I catch a whip of a uh, whiff of her hair. <laughs> oh my god. It smells like sweat. Well, how adrenaline should smell. It's the scent of activity. And a hint of strawberries. From my shampoo, I suspect. I just need to remember to take my medicine, that's all. Don't worry about it, it's not your fault. You sure? Her voice is muffled. Mostly because at the moment her face is pressed into my chest. Yeah, I'm sure. I just need to take it a little easy for the next few days. It suddenly occurs to me how close the two of us are. It also occurs to me how nice being this close feels. I can feel Emmy's heartbeat calming down, and I have to resist the urge to rest my chin on the top of her head. Thank goodness. You really have me worried there, Hazal. Emmy, you going to come in here anytime soon? Oh, oh I'm sorry. W was I interrupting? The two of us spring apart as if the other just caught on fire. Emmy brushes her hair back nervously and laughs. C c of course not. I'll, uh, I'll see you later, okay? Oh, uh, and Hazal? Hmm? Take your damn medicine. <laughs> Take your damn medicine, boy. <laughs> <laughs> this last phrase is punctuated by a punch to the shoulder. Yeah, yeah, I'll remember. See you later. <laughs> Take your damn medicine! <laughs> I don't know why that got me so much. The nurse smiles again like he's, he's in on some joke and I don't know about and waves to me. Oh god, I can't even read this. Ugh, I need a shower. A cold one, if the thoughts running through my head now are any indication. She was really soft. My pills are wait waiting for me when I make it back to my room. I swallow them without a second thought. I don't know why I didn't think of waiting until after the runs to take them. For some reason I figured it was when I woke up or not at all, but no. They only need to be taken every 24 hours. The exact time of day doesn't factor into it. My thoughts drift back into the hallway. Uh, into the hug into the hallway, I don't even know. It's weird. You'd expect someone to smell foul after a run, but for some reason, Amy smelled right. That tinge of sweat just seemed to fit her. I really need that shower. <laughs> God damn, son. Ah, damn. Oh, of course he... <laughs> of course he needs a shower after that. That's... That's that's boy talk. That That's the boy of him talking. But I think it's been like 19 minutes. I can't really afford to be getting into much more of this because I'm ill and I feel quite sad. Not sad, just sick. That's the word I was going for. I don't know why I said sad. I'm not sad at all. I'm actually happier than I've ever been. But yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to leave a like and all of that good stuff. It really does help me out. Especially comment that are, uh, comments are just like my bread and butter. I love them. But anyway, I hope you have a great day and a great life. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.